Hello, welcome back. This is Kench 1913, and we are Let's Play Dragon Quest 6 for the Android and iOS and mobile device. You can use this walkthrough for your 3DS or your DS or whatever as well. Anyways, last episode we defeated Sledge's Slimeopolis or Slime Arena, and we got ourselves a Dragonic Diligence book, which will let us turn into a dragon, or at least as a job class. Well, we'll learn all sorts of abilities for free. And by free, I mean we'll have to do leveling, but you'll get a lot of really amazing breath attacks. Yeah, Gawain. No, I'm not going to sell you the slime. Nope. Nope, he's my friend. Uh, nope. Nope, not even for 15,000. Not even for half a million. Uh, no, not for a million. No. No. Three million. Oh, God. God, no, no, no. I won't budge for three million either. He's my friend. Plus, I'm going to need him for later. So, apparently, Hammer is not... Or, Hammer is not his only she-bitch in his slime stable. So, now he's going to bring us out Goober. He is such a goober. And yeah, Goober is going to join our group. So Goober hops in Patty's party palace. But yeah, Goober has now joined our party. He is actually better than a regular slime. He learns a couple of breath attacks and various stuff. His stats are a little higher than a regular slime. Although I probably won't be using him, at least you get to know that. He's not bad. He's actually not a bad slime, but pretty much I am done with him. So, let's see. What is next on the agenda? <coughs> let's give uh, Carver back his weapon here. And, uh, yeah, we'll take Duane out. Because I do not need him at this moment. There we go. Alright, so... The next thing we're going to do is head to another optional area. Before I do that, let us put all the gear in the bag. And... Let us, uh... Let us sort the bag. So there we go. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, again, is another optional area. It is in the real world. We have to head over to Wellshire in order to do this. Um, this area is, very, is optional, although you're going to want to go up to a certain point in this optional side quest uh, before heading on to the next thing. So let's head over to Wellshire. And from here, we're going to head to our boat. And then from there, we're going to head south a little bit. And then west. So yeah, let's head south here. And a little west. To the southern section of this uh, area. Alright, so if you want to come over here, and we use Lorelei's harp, Go under the water. And under the water, where would we find what would we find? Come over here to this little area right here, and what we want to do is head up. It's an underwater waterway, obviously. And here we go, we reach this little church or something. And here we are inside some house or something. It's a ginormous house. It's very fancy. And yeah, there's a bunny girl thing over there, which is kind of cool. Um, this place is called Chateau de Sass. And Mr. Sass is here. And pretty much this is the style competition. Pretty much what the style competition is, is as you've noticed throughout the game, we have item. We have our own. Un our each character has their own style points, right? 
And the thing about our style is we're going to be com we're going to be uh, competing in various different rounds of a contest. I believe there's eight rounds, and uh, different rounds will have different criteria, such as men only, women only, and monsters only. There's a couple of different rounds. Anyways, um, so style. How does that work? Pretty much. Uh, weapons and armor and stuff each have style points along with your character's style points. Job classes also help with style, as uh, the Luminary is probably best if you're going to try and win this whole thing. But, um, what else? Uh, pretty much, there are a lot of items in the game that give you a different, or a lot of equipment in the game... They give you different combinations of extra style bonuses that you can use in order to uh, advance in the style game. So a dancer, I believe, gets like a plus five style, extra style. I think a luminary gets plus 15. I know a hero gets plus 10%. And right now our hero, Kenshin, is at 10. So there's various different combinations such as... I believe a uh, platinum sword, platinum shield, platinum helmet, platinum armor, and I think that's it. And, it, and if you put that and then enter the style competition, along with the style that you have, which let's say the base is 200, let's say it's 200, you'll get an extra 50 for the bonus. And so throughout the game, there are different, um, there are different, um, what do you call it? There are different um, style things that you can get. You know, different style combinations of items, such as a dancer's outfit and a a dancer's outfit and a fan, or like if you get a bunny girl suit, you have the bunny helmet, the bunny ears, you have the uh, the fishnet stockings, <clears throat> and I think if you have the silver platter, you get a bunch of points that way. So yeah, we have to do at least the first three, and here's the three judges, Cherie. What's this guy's name? Dante. And, uh, Elvin, yeah. So, uh, pretty much you have to try and at least do the first three style, um, things in the beginning because you want to make sure that you, uh, get a special item. So, yeah, accessories also count. Pretty Betty, or Betsy, or whatever the hell it's called. Um... Honestly, those are worth it, although they don't work. I mean, they, I think they give you like one to three style points, which in the grand scheme of things isn't that much. So yeah, the Fashion Forge, what the Fashion Forge can do is pretty much you can take an item that you have, only certain items, and you can actually raise their style. So like an Iron Mask, for example. I think you have like negative five or ten for an Iron Mask, right, for style. But if you bring it to the Fashion Forge and get it done and get it uh, upgraded or what you would like to call it, it'll actually go up like a style of 35. So from negative 5 or whatever, it would go to 35, which means it would add a total of 40 points. Certain accessories give you more style. You want to get the highest style, and I want to say you want to get around 200, to be honest. For the, for the first three comp first three rounds, I think you need 200 and 250 and then 280 or something like that. No, 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 no. That's much later. I think it's like 180, 200, and 220. And so for the first... So yeah, right now I'm trying to equip... Although it doesn't really matter because the Platinum Gear in itself, all of them together, do not equal up to enough or um, without one does not equal up to enough style points but I'm gonna try anyways I believe you win the platinum helmet on the fifth round of this style competition so then you do have all of it I think you win there are other there are a couple of other style uh, related gear that you can get um, like the pink pearl that's plus 40 to your style the glass slippers are plus 40 to your style as well, but they minus your agility by 20. This is plus 35, I'd like that. So yeah, I need 200 style points in order to win the first style competition. Um, so yeah. 
And uh, honestly, the Iron Mask is really not winning me any favors. So what I'm going to do is equip the Hermes helmet. Although the Hermes helmet isn't that good either, to be honest. It only gives me plus eight in style. Although that's a lot more than negative whatever, so I'll take it. All right, so let's do the first competition. Since we talked to this guy over here, <clears throat> he will not allow us to be in it. And yeah, our style right now is at 216. I believe you need 180 or 200 to beat the first round. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else that I can equip. I really wish I had that helmet. <clears throat> I thought I got the platinum helmet, but I guess I guess you can only get it from here. So pretty much what you have to do is leave and come back in. And we will start off the style quest. Honestly, this is probably the most annoying part. One of the more annoying things. I'm not a huge fan of the style. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it in this game. I think it's a nice concept, and I think it's kind of cool. I think they try to make it easier and better to do in the uh, Final in Dragon Quest 7. I was about to say Final Fantasy 7, but uh, no, I, I think they do it a little easier in Final. Uh, oh, there we go, in Dragon Quest 7, but it's still a pain in the butt, to be honest. So yeah, I would like to. So. The dressing room is on the left. And yeah, Kenshin is pretty much going to be the person. Now, keep this in mind. Women, the two women that you have, um, Millie and Bar uh, Ashlyn, are actually going to have better style overall than the men. But there are certain... Um, there's certain things that the women obviously can't equip or whatever, but they... they I believe the best dressed person can be is Millie. And then the second best is Ashlyn, the hero, and then uh, Gawain, I think. Well, we'll see. So yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, stuff. There's a lot of there's a lot of things. I forget what you get the first round, but this, I know the third round you get an important item that you're going to need later on. So let's enter in Kenshin. And we're going to enter our place at the back of the line. So yeah, this is pretty much just a... a regular contest or whatnot. And, uh, yeah... Like I said, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try to do the first three, and uh, eventually I'll come back and do the final couple, the final five. But um, I, I honestly have to wait until we get better equipment. <clears throat> At least buy the bunny gear, the rest of the bunny gear, because I have the hel the hat, the bunny ears. I have a tray, or at least we'll win the tray in this in this uh, round, I believe. And then, um, I have fishnet stockings. I might even have a bunny tail if they need that. See, now at this point, I could, uh, see what I kind of just skip is at this point I could talk to these people if I wanted to after, um, during my point in the catwalk, but... I just kind of want to get this over with. And if I recall correctly, I honestly think I, uh, for the, uh, for my first LP, I just kind of, like, cut to the end every time. Let me know if you're interested in that or if you want to see the whole thing. In the essence of I cut to the end of, like, okay, everybody's up there, then you see them up there, and then, boom, we cut to me winning. Pretty much. Let me know if you want if you want to do that. I, if anything, I'll just keep it in. I mean, you know, with the way fate with the with the way YouTube is now, I can upload a longer video. So I'm not too um, like pressed for time, to be honest. And look how cool I look, huh? I'm the coolest.
Yeah. It's very impressive for sure. What is the decision? Let's see. Best dressed of competition of round one. Who is it going to be? Kenshin! Yay! All right, we're very fashionable. They should have a lady who who's like uh, Joan Rivers or something here. And yeah, we got a silver platter, which is a shield for the ladies. It's actually a decent shield. At least for the time being. What an a-hole that guy is. So, all right, we won the first round. Let's see if we can win the second round. Seymour's underground thing. All right, so this one is for men only. So the first round, anyone can enter. The second round, men only. Then I think the third round's for anybody, and then I think the fourth round is for women only. And then the fifth round is for something, might be for anyone, and then like, I know the seventh round is for monsters only, and then I think the, uh, the last round is anybody, but I think there's two men only rounds, I think, I don't recall. So yeah, let's uh let's see what's going on over here. Do 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 level two. Yeah, but the prizes they do get better. Like I think the last prize is a happy hat, which is an item that you can use to walk around and you'll gain um it's either experience or MP. There's also an item that you get that uh, the platinum helmet, which is nice, and then there's another item you get. Some other good stuff. But the third, like I said, the third round is the most important. For right now, obviously. Look how handsome he is. What a rogue. What a rude, but this guy is, huh? Spinning around in his horns. Horns are are, two, are so 2006. We need to get with the times. Now, old men, yeah, all right, canes. They're 2008. But they're coming back, just like bell bottoms. Walking up. And we got ourselves a farmer hat. Woo! The new fashion of the year, dress up like a hick, and spin around, enjoy yourself. Alright, now next is our sixth contestant, or fifth contestant, who's got spiky blue hair. Kinda wishes he was Chrono from Chrono Trigger. But he's a dream warrior, everybody, so watch out. All right, give me the results. So, yeah, I think for this one, you need to have more than 200 or 215 or something. Something like that. I think it's 200. I think the first one's 180, then 200. And I think it's 220, 250, 280, and then 300 you got to beat. Or something like that. Me, yeah. Blue hair is 
it's the new hair. Yay! Oh, we got a trailblazing bandana. Wow. Fashionable. Thank goodness I got that. <clears throat> so, yeah, the next one is 216 or 220. It's Rain and Man, number five. Now look at that. She actually said something nice. All right, so I need to do some adjusting. Let's leave. I need to get, I need to head to the fashion porch. Let's see. I need to I need to up this iron mask and make it and make it better and fashionable. Gotta make it real fashionable. -ble -ble. Hello, sir. Yes, I need you to fix something for me. So yeah, the iron mask will go from negative ten to thirty-five. So that's a ten forty-five point jump, and it's only cost. 1200 so that's not bad. And let's see. That's it. So let's equip the Iron Mask. As you see, do you see how the Iron Mask, like, had some shimmers in it? The Im little image? See? That means that it's been fashionably forged. Nothing like making an Iron Mask cool. Alright, so let's walk back to the chateau, whatever. What the hell? Where is it? You telling me I can't walk there? Oh boy, this is gonna be a pain. Oh my god, I can't walk there? Oh well. Alright, so I'll just meet you over there. I'll meet you at the chateau de Sass. Alright, here we are. Let's win that next round, and then I'm done. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll probably do just a little bit more treasure hunting under the water, and then actually continue with the story. We're gonna get some uber treasures. But yeah, level three, let's do it. We're gonna be very sassy. So let's head over there. So yeah, at level 3 you can have anybody and I believe you need 220 points. That's why I need to go and fix my helmet. What the hell? Why the hell is there a zombie in this thing? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, slime dress three. Yeah, but it is weird that this, that you can't warp here. It's very weird. Hey, if anyone votes for that zombie, this is pathetic. That's all I know. Please don't vote for the zombie. All right, a pretty lady in a little dress, yay. She's doing a little catwalk thing on the catwalk. On the catwalk. All right, who's next? Number two. Prisoner number two. Come on down. Yeah, spin. All right, prisoner number two, number three, or whatever. Look at this guy. All right, number four, the monster, the corpse. If a corpse can join, anyone can join. Dun, 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 dun. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, he's really something. That blue hair is driving me wild. And that sword is so fashionable. Accessorize. All the cool stuff he's got. Hey, if you can just give me your your uh, your decision, please. All right, give me the name, and the winner is just like the Oscars. Yay! I win. Three in a row. Three in a row. Three in a row. We get a plush rug, which is very important. It's a very important item. We'll need it for later. Now, I'm not going to be able to compete in the next couple of rounds, so we're just going to have to wait until we get some better gear. Dante's a nice guy. Cherie's alright. And Elvin is a real dick. So yeah, there we go. We pretty much beat it. And let's see if he'll join our group yet. Yes, join me. Oh, apparently I gotta get more fashionable. Anyways, I am going to stop the video, and in the next episode, we're going to continue on with the, some more treasure hunting. Bye-bye.